Good afternoon, ladies and gents. Um, I am Cecil Lawrence. I am the head option strategist at Your Options Forecast. In today's video, we just want to show you how we analyze the market to determine whether we've got a trading strategy. So, um, yesterday in our newsletter, we posted a trade for soybeans, and we you know, said soybeans made the low down here. We had the one, two, three. If that yesterday's bar went above the high, that you see the recent high, the number two point there, we might have had a, a bull market forming, and in that case, we, we wanted to trade the market up. Looking at what happened yesterday, the market actually retraced um, close down here, and today it's down. So this market looks like it's staying level, and it might actually trade level like this for two, three, maybe four weeks. We don't know. Um, how long it will stay level but at the moment it seems that it's trading level and uh, there's no direction so maybe there's a trading strategy that we can use for for a level market um, let's analyze that so um let me just uh, get my options explorer in here so in options explorer let's go to the the markets uh, we go look at the grain markets Okay, and uh, here we can see, uh, we see corn, soybeans, there's wheat. Um, well, these commodities are all trading at relative moderate volatility. I see that in a background color, the blue background details is moderate volatility. Um, oats that you down here on the left hand side, you can see oats is the red background color. That uh, indicates to me it's low implied volatility. So oats is good for option buying strategy. Um, the moderate volatilities, they are better suited for option selling strategies. Um, so, um, soybeans are, are the one that's trading level. So, uh, we don't really know how high this volatility is at the moment. Let's just look at our heat map. Um, and on the heat map, you can see, you know, soybeans is, is fairly low. It's on the low side um, down here. Um, we've got corn. There's corn. It's in the middle. Uh, wheat is also right in the middle. Um, if we recalculate this, you know, um, the, the, the COVID-19 pandemic that you see worldwide is skewing the volatility picture. So then everything is, is relatively high. And now look at soybeans right in the middle. So um, uh, we, we don't really know because of the skewness of the market, how high that um, volatility is still. So let's just analyze this market, analyze this commodity and let's look at this ivory graph so you can see this is the implied volatility for soybeans over the last year and we can see this this pandemic the, the the virus has caused this little spike in implied volatility for the rest of the year it was trading fairly low and um, let's just reposition this thing take out that spike so this is um, showing a, a better picture this is this is the implied volatility over the entire year um, and that spike is just an outlier. So you can see here the implied volatility with soybeans is fairly high. Um, it's not the highest it's been, but it, it, it's not the lowest either. So you can also use a different method if you look at the IV percentile. That gives us exactly the same picture. So um, uh, implied volatility of soybeans is fairly high in this case. So it's still good for option selling strategies. So, um, Okay, knowing that the market is trading level, um, fairly high volatility, we can go to our strategies. So uh, let's go strategies. Um, and down here you can see, let me move down to the markets, the neutral market, um, high volatility. Um, there's a strategy, short strangle is a good strategy to use in this market condition. So we just you find it. Okay, so this is a strategy for trading soybeans level. I just don't like that picture. Let's just move this strategy slightly up. Move it up one strike interval. Okay, so there we've got a level trading strategy for soybeans. Uh, we can see we're going to capture profit on soybeans over a fairly wide price range. If you look at my red curve. So above about just above 855 to 915. That's a that's a fairly large price range over which we're catching profit. You can see the same on the right hand side in between down here and up there. We're making money out of this market. Um, look at the bar chart. Um, so so we've got a fairly wide range in which we are making money. Remember that you look at the yellow lines at the top and the yellow line at the bottom. 
inside this area here we are making money so um, if for soybean continue trading level and it moves inside this area our money our profit region we will be making money so this um, um, market continue to stay level for a week or two we will be moving into this area it's within this area we will be making money here um, my risk is plotted at $300 risk at the top and at the bottom so that's fairly far away so um, um, there has to be a substantial move in soybeans for me to hit my my $300 risk um, in this market um, remember that we are taking $1,300 in premium that we're collecting out of this profit so we can make a total of $1,300 profit um i'm just uh it's my personal my personal preference um i put my risk down at 300 you can if you, you want to take more risk you can move it down to to 500 dollars um, so that's fairly wide area in which we will be trading this market um we can simulate this as well so let's just see uh, look at the, my, my left hand side if we let this price stay level remember this is the data based on yesterday that's monday so this is tuesday wednesday thursday friday then the weekend hits and we eating monday so by monday we're sitting on nearly 500 years dollars i said 250 years dollars in profit in this in this trade nearly 250 dollars profit by by monday um we are right in the middle of our profit region and and we are profitable over quite a fairly wide range of prices the same as you can see here it's a fairly wide range of prices so uh, for this trading strategy the this the simple method for me to manage this is to say you know if soybeans breaks up above this high that you see here above that price that the high of that red buy bar there that signals that it's a it's a bull market is starting to form as an uptrend starting to form it's time to get out so if that happens we will still be at break even we haven't lost anything yet that is a signal to get out of this market and the same if it goes down to the bottom it breaks down below that red maybe slightly lower if it it's about 870 it, it, it might be time to get out so then we exit this straight um again so we're taking the chance that it will stay level if it does stay level we're making some money here if it, if it does break out um either the top side or the bottom side then we get out of the trade and i like to manage it according to my break even line so i look the break even line if it hits the break even line um, i'm out of the trade so um and oh, then we haven't lost anything on the trade so we have been in the market we gave it the opportunity to go for some money and um that's it so let's just see if we can improve on the strategy slightly so let me just put back my 300 dollar risk lines there um that is my initial trade let's just save that and let's now see what will happen if we um if we play around a little bit with with the option so let's first take the, the call option that's above the market and let's move this up by a couple of strikes so i'm moving this option one strike up Let's move it a second strike up third strike up and let's move the the put option that's below you can see that that's a short call at 920 now the short put at 880 let's move this down also three strikes down okay so now i've moved my options further out of the money i'm further away from the price action so my call is is at 920 and i put it at 850 uh, call is up here to 920 strike call and i put it down here so 850 strike call so i'm further away from the money less risk um i've only collected 400 and about 40 years dollars in margin now um, versus 1300 before so if you look at the the, the margin or the the premium collected uh, I'm sacrificing 900 US dollars in this case. So I had a thousand three hundred dollars before. I now only have four hundred dollars. I'm sacrificing nine hundred dollars. On my risk side, um, I've got slightly lower risk. You look at where the yellow line is sitting versus where the pink line was sitting. That that's a very small um, um, reduction in risk. So and and same with the bottom side. So slightly higher range in which we're making money. Um, or containing our, our losses but um, not a real substantial decrease in risk here if i look at my break even line for the first about week a little bit more than a week the break even line is exactly the same place 
So the yellow line is exactly on top of the, the pink line. It's only about um, right here, it's so 15 days left in the trade. So the first 10 days, we have exactly the same break even profile. After 10 days, a slight is, the, the yellow line is starting to break away, giving us a wider area under which we are going to capture profit. Uh, the question for me is, is, is this yellow area, is that worth sacrificing $900 in premium in this trade? Um, if I look at my trading strategy, let's say, you know, I'm going to exit the moment I hit my break-even lines. Um, then on both of these strategies, I'm going to exit at exactly the same place. And uh, so for me, sacrificing the $900 in premium... It's not worth the while. Um, um, it's, I could just as well save the regional trade, use the regional trade and exit when I hit my break even line um, out there. So let's just move that strategy back. Um, let's move this option back down. And let's move that one back up by three strikes. Okay, so um, that's the initial trade that I that I had. So for me, this this trade is about the best we can do. It gives me an opportunity to make a thousand three hundred dollars in profit, and I've hit a break-even line. I'm out of this trade. Um, so it's fairly low risk I'm taking. Um, I, I don't see any large sudden moves in soybeans. So nothing that will take soybeans right up to my to my lost lines in one day. I, I don't see moves like that in soybeans. So um, if it does happen intraday, if it goes out above, I just exit the trade. So the other thing, the second thing I want to do here is um, I like to trade two contracts. I'll explain that in a moment. So um, let's just see what happens if we if we change this to, to two contracts. Okay, and let's just update my profit to double the amount as well. Okay, so the same trade, same risk as before. However, trading two contracts, we've got a potential 2,600 US dollars in premium that we're collecting here. Um, so if the market stays level, say level for the next 25 days, we, we stand to make about 2,500 US dollars. Why trade two contracts? A um, simple thing is this. If you're trading only one contract and you're, you're, you know, you've got a bit of profit, so initially, let's say this market... Um, state level for a couple of days, you know, one, two, three, four, five. You state level for a couple of days, you're sitting at a profit of around five hundred dollars. Um, but now it, it starts deteriorating, you know, and the price is dropping to eight hundred and seventy. Um soybean goes down to eight seventy and it makes another drop, let's say to eight hundred and sixty. Okay, so now soybean starting to trade down. Uh, you now turned into a loss position. You can see on the left hand side, you now turning into a loss, and it's quite a steep loss. At this point in time, you don't have a choice. You have to get out of this trade. You can't take the risk. Another long drop in in the price of soybeans. You're going to see you take a serious loss in this trade. So at this point in time, you have to get out. So if you're only trading one contract, and you get to that situation, you have to get out of the one contract. You've traded for almost two weeks. You haven't made any money. Okay, you haven't lost any money, but you haven't made any money. You haven't made any progress in your trading account. Um, and you're never going to be able to build a trading account if you never take profit. You know, if you take two weeks, and after two weeks, you get out of break even. So trading two contracts gives me the ability, the moment that we, at this point, you know, just after five days of trading, uh, we're sitting on a, on a profit of $500. I can immediately sell one of those contracts or buy back one of these contract sets from the market for a profit of $250. At $250 I put in my pocket, it's in my trading account, um, I can't lose that. And if this market now, the remaining contract, I can let this remaining contract run and, and see how, uh, will it go all the way and give me $1,300 or not. So I've got the ability to let it run. If it is break even, I'm getting out of it. You know, I've still got $250 in my pocket. I've still grown my account by $250. Um, if it doesn't go down all the way to break even and continues all the way to the close, you know, then, then I'm, I'm making the full amount of money. So trading two contracts as account management wise gives me the ability to, to, um, take profit on the one contract, um, have something in my, in my pocket for the, taking the risk to trade and let the remaining contract, um, run to expiry. Okay. If you like the video that you just seen, please hit the subscribe button down below. Then you can, uh, we will update you of new videos as they become available. Um, ladies and gents, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.